much can you expect to pay to rent an apartment in Gramercy Park? Today, I will rate apartments by their size, layout, unit amenities, natural light, and access to the subway. There aren't a ton of elevator buildings in the area, so I will show you one studio in a newer building, then I will switch to two and three bedrooms in walk-up buildings. Let's get started. We will start at 17th and 3rd, where studios start at 4300. As far as studios, this one's pretty nice. There's no in-unit, but everything is beautifully updated, and they got rid of the under-sink storage so that way they could fit in a dishwasher, which is nice, although it does mean slightly less storage. Four stars for in-unit amenities. It has one large window, which lights up the space really well, and isn't blocked by neighboring buildings, so four stars for natural light. If you've seen any of my past videos, then you know a simple box layout like this one is my favorite per studios. Easiest one to design. Five stars for layout. The size is definitely good for a studio, but it's not phenomenal. So still a solid four stars for size. For transportation, you're only three or four blocks from the L or the NQRW. So another four stars for transportation. That brings this unit's overall rating to 4.2 stars, which is a very strong start. Next, we will switch over to walk-up buildings and we're gonna start at 21st and 2nd with two different two bedrooms in the same building, one that's been updated, one that hasn't. We'll start with the unit that hasn't been updated first, and those units start usually under 5,000. Right away, you're probably wondering if this video is taken at night because it's so dark. Well, at the end of this video, when you see how bright it is out the front window, then you will see that it is very much daytime. Unfortunately, most of the windows face brick walls, and since you're on a lower floor, they don't let in much light. It basically permanently looks like it's storming. 1.5 stars for natural light because at least the front window is nice. For unit amenities, there aren't many. Unfortunately, since it's New York City, the fact that they have a full fridge and a full oven is already a perk. My first apartment here only had a mini fridge. <laughs> Two stars for in-unit amenities. Not a great start for this unit, but let's see if they can turn it around. As far as size, it's not bad. The bedrooms could be better, not ideal if you were hoping to have a bed and a desk. Thankfully, you have a proper living area though, so I'm still gonna give it three stars. Layout is one thing this unit has going for it. The bedrooms are good layouts and the living space has a couple of options on how you could configure it. Four stars for layout. The nearest subway stop is for the four and six, which is about a quarter mile away. Then you have the NQRW about a half a mile away. So 3.5 stars for transportation. That brings this unit's overall total to 2.8 stars. If you're willing to go a few floors up to the sixth floor and you're willing to up your budget to 5,300, then you can get more bang for your buck. Right away, you can tell that despite the fact that you're still looking directly at a brick wall, this unit lets in a lot more light. And that goes for every window you will see in this unit. It might not have a good view, but at least you get that natural light. 3.5 stars. The unit has been nicely updated and has an in-unit washer dryer, as well as a small dishwasher. I know it's a walk-up building, but I'm judging it by the in-unit amenities, not the building's amenities. So five stars for in-unit amenities. At least once you climb up the six flights of stairs, you get a home you're comfortable in. The unit itself is a pretty good size. I think if roommates lived here, they would be happy enough with the size of their room. It's not massive though, so four stars for space. The layout is simple even a bit simpler than the last two bedroom we saw. Two uninterrupted walls in the living room for you to configure your furniture however you want. Five stars for layout. Lastly, we have transportation. Since this is the same building as the last one with the four, six, and Q and R all within a quarter to a half mile, we will give it the same 3.5 stars. That brings this unit's overall total to 4.2 stars. If you can handle a six floor walk up, then it's definitely worth it. Now we will head over to 19th and 2nd to see a three bedroom that costs the same as the two bedroom we just saw. We start off by seeing a nicely updated, but very tiny kitchen. At least it does still have that tiny dishwasher. There is no laundry in the unit, but there is laundry in the building. We can't factor that into our score though. So I'd say 3.5 stars for in-unit amenities. Since you're four floors up in a walk-up building, you get plenty of natural light in each room, even the kitchen and bathroom. Not a great view out the windows, but at least you get the light. Four stars for natural light. As far as size, I would have expected it to be much smaller considering it's priced the same as some of the two bedrooms in the area, but all three of the rooms are a good size and the living room is a proper living space. Four stars for size. 
I really only like to give five stars on space when it is an obscenely large space. Layout is good. No weird walls or poles getting in the way. Whomever moves in can easily make the space their own. Five stars for layout. For subway access, you're about five blocks from the L and a little further in the opposite direction from the four and six. So it's not particularly convenient unless you need to take the L to meatpacking or deep in Brooklyn a lot. Three stars for subway access. That brings this unit's overall total to a respectable 3.9 stars. Next, we will head to 24th and Lexington to check out another three bedroom, but this time for $5,900. The last unit we saw was on the fourth floor of the building, so even though half the windows were facing another building, you still got plenty of light. This unit is on the first floor with half of the windows also facing, again, a brick wall, but since you're not on a high floor, you would really need to rely on lamps or overhead lighting to brighten up the space. 1.5 stars for natural light. The size of the bedrooms is okay, but not superb. They can all at least fit a queen and maybe some other furniture. The living space, however, is plenty large enough to host gatherings. Assuming you're willing to give up a little bit of bedroom space for living space, then four stars on space. Kitchen and flooring have both been updated and they have two cute decorative fireplaces. Laundry's in the building, but again, not in the unit four stars for in-unit amenities. The layout is great in my opinion. You have an extra area by the kitchen for a table, then you have a proper large living room with multiple uninterrupted walls, making it ideal for whatever designs you can come up with. Five stars for layout. Lastly, for transportation, you're only a block from the 4-6 and two blocks from the RW. Five stars for subway access. That brings this unit's overall total to 3.9 stars. The unit might not have great lighting, but it scored highly elsewhere that really helped raise the overall score. Before we head into the final building, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. I have a few other apartment compilation videos you might also be interested in, so go check them out on my channel. As my channel grows, I'm excited to expand the type of content I upload, and I would love it if you would come along on that journey. Also, if you're in the market, my contact information is down below. Now on to the final building. The final building of the day is at 18th and 1st, where three bedroom apartments start at $6,500. We're back on an upper floor in a walk up, so that means that we get natural light again, yay. And there's at least one window in every bedroom, which a lot of roommates require, four stars for natural light. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you know you only get five stars for natural light if you have floor to ceiling windows or some type of really big wow factor. For size is pretty good, I think it's on par with the other units we've seen. You can fit a queen plus some other furniture, as Goldilocks taught us, not too big, not too small, just right. It gets another four stars on size for me. As far as layout, I think it's pretty basic, but as I've said many times, we like basic because it's blank canvas for the new tenant. The layout only has one uninterrupted wall in the living room though, which can limit you a bit. We'll go 3.5 stars on layout. Unit amenities include a dishwasher and an in-unit washer dryer. I am surprised they decided to replace the dishwasher with an older version that's not stainless steel, but all that matters is that it has a working dishwasher and small wine fridge as well. Five stars for in-unit amenities for this unit. Lastly, we will talk about access to the subway. You are right by the bus, but for these videos, I only focus on proximity to the subway. While you're only four blocks from the L, you're over a half mile from the NQ, R, and W three stars for subway access. That brings this unit's overall total to 3.9 stars. So which one was your favorite? Let me know down in the comments, and if you enjoyed today's video, then you should check out my channel to see if anything else catches your eye. Have a good day!